G'day guys, welcome to the channel. Today is another day of just filling in a few jobs, getting a few jobs tidied off before we get going on the headers again. So that bit of rain we had, it's just not drying out. It's yeah, probably gonna still be another day, maybe two, before we can get on there, there with the headers. So currently what's going on, that little building there, while I was busy on the other sprayer, um, yeah, Brad and a couple other people had a bit of a crack at that to see whether or see how simple it was just make a start at least anyway and um yeah i think they got there in the end but it was um yeah i, I don't think it was as simple as it could be but it is looking pretty good so you get a bit of an idea of what it'll look like once that side's folded out but yeah so all the windows and things are in there have to go in here obviously um, but yeah, you get a good, good amount of space. You can also hear some action over here. So that is happening. A um, little bit late for harvest, but um, still, they're going to be here for next year. They'll be here for many more years, so it still needs to get done. These are 286 ton each, so that's how much wheat they'll hold. So yeah, they're quite, quite a bit of storage there. I think there's a 18 month waiting period for these silos. So hopefully another two will pop up there in 18 months. But we'll just have to see how that all goes. So currently we've got a bit of spraying going on here at the development block. Phil's on the grasshopper and he is spraying um, yeah, a few of these paddocks here. Now, we've got a flat tire here. Phil, what are you doing? Uh, we're just having Hunting the rocks. So who are we going to blame for this one? Oh, whoever's not here. Well, Brad's not here. And Matt's not here. Oh, we can blame Matt. Matt. Blame Matt. Yeah, well, we, that's properly flat, isn't it? <coughs> but, and, and I think that's... It, I don't think we'll get much value out of a, a retread. Well, if you're finding it hard to uh, keep up with what's going on, don't worry. That is pretty much how all of us feel. So... Currently now, I'm at the other main farm. So this is the property that's got the chickpeas and the linseed. Now, where we were contracting, as I said before, it's just wet. Um, it didn't, doesn't seem like a lot of rain, 30 mils, but it is just wet. And um, so we're still a couple of days away from actually doing anything there. Um, so we've got one header back here. So we only brought the one, and we're just trying to tidy up a bit of this linseed. So as you might've seen from previous videos, we're just, it was been too wet here as well but it's drying out quicker here so we're just every opportunity we can we'll give it a try see if we can get a bit more off so that's what we're doing now we're just struggling for storage so we've got two of these silos full of linseed um we did get 60 ton of linseed off before the rain so that was um the yeah really good quality stuff and i actually just brought back um little field bin which we had at another property that'll hold oh that might be only 20 22, 23 tonne of linseed. Usually holds about 28 tonne of wheat full. Um, so yeah, brought that back. We've also got the old truck in there, which we can store a bit in that as well. And hopefully that's, uh, well, kind of hopefully, but hopefully not. It'd be great if we needed more storage. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at to at the minute. Now, just to talk a little bit more about this uh, field bin. It is, I don't know how long we've had it for, but yeah fairly old but you might notice that there is aerators on there so there's three of those and they're the biggest single phase um, motors you can get so yeah these they're designed for like 200 300 ton silos um, but yeah there's actually three of them on here what the purpose is is that we can use this as a bit of a hospital bin so if we have um, you know 15 20 25 ton of, of wet grain uh, we can throw it in here and dry it really quickly. So rough figures, um, if we had a 16% um, moisture in the wheat, uh, with some good warm days, drying days, it might take a week and you would get 20 tonne of wheat down to probably 11, 12% moisture. So it, uh, yeah, it works really well. Um, sometimes when you're harvesting, you just get, you know, caught out you got a bit of wet stuff that you don't know what to deal with for whatever reason 
Um, so yeah, we've always got this option to whack it in here and, um, and yeah, get it dried quickly. One of the reasons for the three uh, motors is you can use a three phase generator and just pl um, put one on each phase. So it makes it really simple. Um, we can cart around one of those light towers and yeah, just plug it into the here and away you go. Well, we've been able to um, get all the linseed off. It dried up just enough to be able to get it all. So I don't think, I don't even think we've got a little patch there that we can't get. I think it's all off. So that is a uh, yeah, very good result. Uh, but currently we're just still working on getting some more of the chickpeas off. Sorry for the dirty window there, but, um, but as you can see, there's still water laying in a few spots, but I think we should be able to get a majority of the chickpeas off as well. So once we do the chickpeas here, that's it. We're finished our harvest. We're trucking along here with the chickpeas. Yeah, so you can see Brad working over there. But yeah, you'll see from the drone footage how it's just very patchy. Like some of it barely even came up um, just because it was so wet after we planted it. Um, but yeah, there is still quite a bit of meat in a lot of it. Um, uh, we've got a little section back at the back here which still needs to be got, but um, yeah, Brad's just working out the main section that we have there. Might have a couple of hours here, who knows, um, see what we can get. Then, I think tomorrow, we'll be into the contracting again. around for extra storage not using that don't know how long it's been since that's been used but it's yeah all damaged at the bottom but we are using the poly silo with that we usually use for fertilizer um, yeah I should check there's nothing in it first I I gave it a clean out yesterday but I'm not sure whether anyone's put any chickpeas in this yet nope all empty so this should probably take about 20 20 something ton of chickpeas I think. Righto, well, we've got one load in there. Um, I'll explain what the forklift's doing in a minute. Well you can probably guess once I explain what's happened here. Actually just popped a little leak on this hose here which is um, a bit odd. It actually doesn't look old or frayed or anything it's just yeah one of those things started spraying out. So this ram obviously controls the height and yeah we don't want that seep down and hit the silo um, obviously it's only plastic so not very good for bearing weight um, but yeah that's the that's what the forklift's there for hopefully that'll be enough to keep it where we want it so looks like um yeah we shouldn't be long now until chickpeas done which means we are finished with our harvest so that is a relief um, this has probably been one of the most uh, interesting and challenging harvests for a while, at least anyway. Um, just the amount of breakdowns that we had, it was a lot of the stuff that broke down. It's just not really a, a maintenance thing. It's just more just age of the machines, I guess. If you've watched some of the early videos, we've been right through both headers. Um, we practically rebuilt all the insides of header number two. Um, but yeah, it's just, one of those things. Um, I think part of the reason is the conditions. So just the mud, um, it gets everywhere, wreck stuff, um, it's rough on it. Um, and also the rocks, uh, which mainly is at the development block. And there's a lot of rocks there and, and that obviously puts wear and tear on machines too. Uh, so yep, yeah, that's it's just been one of those things. Not a lot we can do, um, except try to make sure that um, so the breakdowns aren't from lack of maintenance or anything just just make sure that yeah we we've done what we can and try and learn and improve going forward well this is the very last section of chickpeas or of our our own harvest for this year so not too much to go nice beautiful sunset there as well well we're here at the block we're contracting at um, yeah, so Phil's down at the development block still spraying uh, there and 
So it's my job here at the moment to hop on the header and see whether it's too wet or not. Um, I think it's looking like it's dried out quite a bit, so um, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, Brad's still at the other main farm, just finishing off the little bit of chickpeas left, and he's got to sort out a few things there. So I'll uh, make sure we're right to go here. If it is good to go, then we've got to organise trucks and, yeah, get the other header down here. Well, it is dry enough, so we're going. So currently, Brad is just about to start. Well, they've got some reinforcements. So yeah, we've got two John Deere headers here and that should help get this done a bit quicker. So yeah, we've got both mother bins down there, currently both absolutely full. So we nearly were all stopped, but uh, thankfully, yeah, we had a couple of trucks come. It's just a little sunset rescue there. Now I'll see if we can get back harvesting. Well guys, that might be it for this video. Um, but yeah, as always, if you like it, keep hitting the like button and we'll catch you in the next one.